Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, and good night, depending on what time you're watching this next episode from me, Avamance, on the Avamancia Peninsula. Yeah, it's solo, let's play time, and we're going to do a little bit more expansion, I think. What we're going to do is, I've been a little bit inspired by Foex off of the Alpha Craft server and a build that he's done recently. So just behind me there, between the two um, towers, you can see obviously we've got that um, rail bridge and footbridge and we've got the gates. Well, there aren't actually any gates on it, but the kind of the walls that open up. And between there and around a little bit and down a little bit, and I'm not entirely sure how, we are going to do a dock area. It's also going to mean I'm going to have a better station for the, the minecart, which I'm not happy with at the moment anyway. So we're going to do that down there today. And what I thought is that it'd be uh, quite fun to, I don't know, just just kind of expand it across. It will give me more building space, certainly, to be able to put some buildings on. It's within the um, the, the sphere of the, um, of what's it called? The beacon. I can't find my words. What's well, it, of the beacon. So it's within the beacons area as well. So that'll be quite useful. And all in all, I think it'll add quite well to the peninsula. I've done a little bit more on the boat. Hang on, let me just turn around. It's gonna be easy for me to show you. So, you will see I've made a few changes because those nautical types amongst you have uh, told me things like sails don't furl at the top, sails furl at the bottom and then they get pulled up. And of course, you're quite right, they do. They get pulled up, they don't get pulled down. I've also got an anchor chain at the back there that goes all the way down to the bottom. And uh, at the bottom, there's a an anvil that's acting as an anchor. Brilliant idea. I think about 20 people suggest it. Absolutely superb. Um, but I'm particularly uh, happy that um, we've got the correct furling method on our ship. Because it would be a terrible, terrible thing if it furled wrongly. So, Don, you were the pers first person that told me that. I really appreciate that. Thanks very much indeed. Um, if you want a tutorial, by the way, on how to make one of these boats or something similar to it, do let me know in the comments below and perhaps I'll do a tutorial. Might be a fun thing to do. Right, um, what am I doing now? I'm going to pop myself down. I, I just want to check I've got my elytra on. Yeah, I do. I'm going to pop myself down here. Let's fly over. I do love a fly. So what we're going to do is down here, you can see we've got kind of the station comes up and it's up there and it's just a couple, couple of bits of dirt at the end of the track and that's not something I want so we're going to kind of build out around this area here try and dockify it up a little bit um, the docks will be within the um, the city wall although I may when we come around here I may around here put a little bit well not I've got a wall yet but I may kind of push it out beyond it I'm not sure yet. This isn't going to be complete this episode either. I think this is going to take me a little while to do. But it's something I think might add, definitely. So I'm quite pleased about it. Let's crack on. Right, so we're down where I want to build and I'm kind of wondering what it, oh, there's a drown there, look. I'm kind of wondering what I'm going to do. Well, because frankly, I don't even know. Um, but what I think we're going to do is we're going to build the docks around here, which means that Hang on, let me come up here so I can kind of see what. So all of this area will be dock. We won't necessarily have it stretching over the other side, but it will mean that we'll go up and past here. We'll probably, this um, road will not become a road anymore, but maybe this bit will. And it kind of the dock will come to all the way over here, I think. Um, I'm sort of going to make it up as I go along. That's really unusual for me. Normally I'm so well planned and have you know CAD drawings and such all ready for what I'm going to do, but not so this time. So what I'm going to do first, I need to basically I need to do a little bit of terraforming because we're going to make um, we're going to make it go down there. It's going to be quite low, I think. So we need to you know what I'm going to do first. Actually, no, I'm going to get the I'm going to get what I want out. So let's just pop that down. That's my I think there. No, I'm going to get some wood and some of this we're just going to start to build it out i think um do i need any of that bit yet no i worry about that yet um i'm starting to debate that no definitely don't need any of that stuff let's get some of this too oh can't do that there let's just lob all this in and then i'll go down and i'll start to place out some where are we there? That, 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 and that. That can go in there. 
there, 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 and there. Right, so that can come out. And I'm gonna come down, we're gonna decide what height do we wanna build the dock. I don't want it down on the height of the water, that's not gonna work for me. So if we put it, I wonder, if we put it sort of here, on this level here, that means we've got a small amount of, is that gonna affect around there? Actually, no, I think that might work. So let's come up here. We're gonna put it on this level here. So you kind of walk in here, I think. Is that high enough? You two, no, we're walking on this level, which means that we're putting the, hang on, oh, except I've not done a thing, for goodness sake. Where's that? There we go. We're putting, let's shove that like that. If we use slabs for now, because I'm gonna get more out of them. Catch that. So if we put, if we're walking on that height, that means we are putting that there like that. And I think that's probably fine. So we need to build out, I'm mean, gonna make it relatively big, I think. So if we come out, how far from the, so if we come out that far, comes saves the amount of terraforming I have to do underneath as well, which is always good. And it's gonna come out most of the way, or at least maybe half the way to the gates. How about that? So let's come out that far. Let's come out a little bit further. One, two. Right, so I think that's probably enough in terms of the distance away. Let's just get this out here. This is going to take some doing, isn't it? What I don't want to do is be getting in the way of that. So we need to kind of stop the dock before we get to that side. I come down, start to build it back down this way. And then kind of come down two and then out one. I should be coming right next to that. Okay, that's cool. So we're right next to that leg, which I'm happy with. And then I might just, if I just close this off, it's about to turn night time. If I just close this off now like this, we might end up edging it out a little bit further, but essentially I think we're more or less there in terms of that coming out to there. Yep, that's fine. Um, and then we've got to obviously come out this side as well. We're probably gonna come out one there. One, two, three. I want it to be I don't want it to be all square and angular. What I really want is for this fella to have, you know, some interesting angles. Come there. That's all right, and that can come there like that. So you can see the shape. That's the shape. Let me just come up here. That's the shape I'm going for. Up, 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 and up. So that will look quite nice, I think, and then it will obviously keep going off in that direction. So I'm gonna to need to cut these bits out here on this level, which is cool, because that's actually not really doing anything for me at the moment, so we can get rid of that. Right, so I'm just gonna crack on with this a little bit more, and hopefully, when I come back to you, we're gonna have, I mean, it's not going to be finished, blimey. But we're going to have a little bit more structure to this because I think it's going to take some thinking about... Let me get that there, there. There, 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 there. Right, I'm going to stop talking. I'm going to start digging. I'll be back in a bit. So I may have gone a bit mad. Just maybe, maybe, maybe I did. I've put quite a lot of wooden slabs down. Hang on. Let me get that one back. Um, I put quite a lot of wooden slabs down and oh, I didn't mean to fall down. I keep falling down here and then I can't get out again. Hang on, I've got to go. The only way out is for me to go under and up and round. And round this way. There we go. And I'm back again. So yeah, I've, I've gone quite a long way round. I've created what's effectively, I guess you could say it's a two stage. I've almost run out of slabs as well. It's a two stage. Um jetty area and 
I'm kind of in two minds with it, guys. I've got to be honest with you. There's part of me thinks this could look absolutely amazing, and part of me think now I've run out of our, yeah, I've run out of slabs now. Um, I've fallen in again. Oh, for goodness sake. Hang on, I'll go, I'll go this way. There we go, that way, it's fine. Um, part of me thinks I've maybe bitten off more than I can chew. You can see I've got quite a large... If I come up and see if we can see a little bit from above. I'll come up on top of me, do diary. Look, come on, beacon. Right, so, so I've got... It's going out quite a long way out that way, but it's also gone out over here this way, and I need to somehow affect this landscape too because the landscape's not quite right so i need to dig some of that out we obviously need to get our entry down which is dead easy i mean that's just going to be some um some nice blocky steps going upwards i'm not bothered by that i'm going to change the route of this train so as the train comes in um probably not sure somewhere around here we'll bring the train in possibly from here and then the train will come and stop here. So that's a much better thing there. I think we can get rid of all this malarkey on here. But all in all, it's going to be a relatively large project, I think. And this has obviously got to be done right as well. Look at this. Let's get rid of some of this. This isn't right. Have I even done the wall this side? I don't even know. Look, see, I've not. I've got to. So I've got to add more wall here as well because I don't want um, a sandbank next to the jetty between the jetty and the wall. That's not something we want at all. So I've got a lot of work to do here. So what I'm gonna do now, I think, is whilst I'm getting my thoughts together, I'm gonna to get, I'm gonna use the minecart. I'm gonna get in the minecart and I go across to the mate space and the Hall of Heroes, because we've got some people to put in there. We're gonna do the Hall of Heroes first, I think, and then we'll go on and do a new mate in the mate space. So no new members this week, but that's cool. What we have, however, is some new patrons which is absolutely amazing moving on to the redstone area we've got oh look i need to well that won't do at all i've got that in lowercase and that in lowercase well i'm not doing that hang on i'm going to do that again hold on everybody hold your horses so what have i got here so this is going to be uh, this needs to be in caps garnet oh no no i didn't press ah there we go that's better Oh, I've got all in the tiz now. Look, all in the tiz. Right, so Garnet. Uh, sorry, Garnet. You, you have to be in capitals. That's only right, isn't it? Everyone else is, so you should be. Let's do this one as well. Brian, my same apology to you. That just won't do at all. Let's get you all capitalised the way you should be. Boom. Right, start again. That never happened. Pretend it didn't happen. We have got three new Redstone patrons, which is absolutely amazing. Brian, Thank you very, very much for taking the time to come and be a Redstone patron. It is an absolute honour to have made a silver statue on your behalf. Garnet, same for you. I'm so hugely grateful for the support you've given the channel. It's amazing. And I'm very, very, very happy that I can put up a statue of you with one arm on Brian's shoulder and the other arm on James's shoulder. Because James, thank you also. It is an absolute pleasure to have got to know you. And thank you so much for thinking it worthwhile becoming a Redstone patron of the channel. It makes such a huge, huge difference. You three guys, you now all get access to the blog that is on avamance.com. The password, uh, if you've not got it, please do drop me an email and I'll make sure you've got that password, but I'll be putting the password out again because I'm going to be changing it shortly, um, to everybody in the Redstone area and also the members area over there. Thank you guys, really, really grateful. But we do also have a diamond patron, which means I had to find nine more diamonds. Oh, for goodness sake, that was a joy. But Gabriel, thank you so much for the absolutely astonishing support that being a diamond patron will give. Again, you get access to the diamond blog as well. And um, I think I've already sent you the password, so you got access to that. Thank you so much. Absolutely brilliant. I've heard that you are really superb uh, Minecraft builder and specifically really, really great at being able to do these kind of puzzle type worlds that people do, um, you know, like prison escapes and all that kind of thing. So really, really looking forward to getting to know you a little bit better as a Diamond Patron. Thank you so, so much. If you want to get involved with the Hall of Patrons or indeed the Hall of Members, the links are in the description below. 
is absolutely amazing that you guys feel it is worthwhile supporting the channel in the way you do and i'm hugely hugely grateful there are some really great perks for being uh, members and patrons and if you look on my patron page which is like i say the link is in the description below you'll see what those perks are let's go over and shove a mate in the mate space we're coming out i've got to go and get myself another thing oh, i picked up another blooming egg i keep picking up eggs eggs are doing my head in right so up we go two to top we're almost full here as well but i mean we're getting crowded you see how crowded it was in there i might have to do another level that'd be a complete another level that would let's come over so we are episode 67 was marty so episode 68 boom so today's episode write it down first otherwise you'll forget there you go episode 68 um this is someone that's i've noticed has been commenting probably for the last three maybe four months the they may have been involved before that but at really active commenting over the last three or four months and really interact with lots and lots of people within the community which is what it is all about so I am going to be saying thank you very much to Susie Navo. Is that, have I said that right, Susie? Please do tell me if I've said that right. I'm pronouncing it as in O, as in water. Susie Navo, thank you so much. An absolute pleasure to be um, able to put a sign up in this really exclusive club of mates based people. And as a result, I hope you're not vegetarian because I am going to throw beef at you in honour of your new sign. I think that's probably enough beef in it. There's a lot of cows died in order to make this episode. Thank you, Susie. Right, let's get ourselves back. I actually probably would need to eat some of this cow now, don't I? There we go. Let's get ourselves back because we've got some serious workage to do over at the other side. So we've started to put the teeniest, tiniest little bit of detail. I've cut out the kind of the format for where I'm going to put the stairs down to it. And so we've just got a load of legs I just crouch over you can see the legs and they do go all the way to the bottom i did notice that i also and put all of those legs down to the bottom as well so now they've all gone down so but i don't know if you'll be able to see i can't see very well no but they do they go all the way to the bottom and i've got to find my way out again which is over here come on out we go so just to demonstrate, this is how dedicated I was, just to demonstrate to you the fact that I put the legs all the way down to the bottom, I fell in the water. So we're going to come down here, look. So we've got a, just the tiniest, teeniest start of detail. I've pulled back this sand bank and I've extended that wall. That wall was just sand, if you remember. So I've put that wall and just created that a little bit more. We've come down here. I've decided to maintain this stone. I didn't want to lose it. It kind of looks nice going up to the tower and then all the way up here but we've kind of bridged it either side with the rest of the jetty so what we've got here is basically a long old jetty if i come up here you can see it look a long old jetty that we need to complete and um, try and make look at least a little bit better so this is just a start really we've created um, kind of the platform that goes all the way down. Obviously, we've had to terraform out the land that was at the end. We've put some lighting in the middle. I think this probably will stay. I might re-fiddle around with it, but from a star perspective, that's kind of what it is I'm looking for. We've got these, well, these are barrels. We're in 113, so we've not actually got barrels at the moment. So these are barrels that are randomly placed around the jetty, which you would find randomly placed around the jetty, but they are strategically glowstone covered in trapdoors so they'll give extra light as well and then we've got light one torch on each and every one of these puppies here which go down into can i get go down into the bottom so that's kind of the shape of that fella there i've not done anything else over the other side i've pulled away some of the land here as you can probably tell and we've extended the beach out in fact i'm going to drop down so you can see we've pulled this away we've still got some Sand under there. Let's get rid of that. Hang on. Can we get? Can I reach that? No, I can't. I'm going to go and get that later. Oh, I might be able to reach it there. There we go. So I missed out a few blocks. Oh, and we got some dirt. We don't want that. Get rid of you. There's a hole there. That's going to make my tea fish. I'll sort that out in a bit, and then just get rid of some of that out as well. All right. I think we're all right. Collect those up. Come up. Come up. Come up. And I'm not sure, why is that there? Wrong one, whoops, there we go. Um, 
I'm not sure how we're going to do the next bit, but obviously we need to take this style around to the other side, and I still need to do, I'll come up here, I still need to do some, some lighting, and I still need to do the steps that are over there, but I think we've done a not too bad job so far. And as a result, I think we're going to call it there, because my axe is worn out. I didn't know if I have to do a lot of chopping of these, um, Slabs. I've done top slabs rather than bottom slabs so as I can build on top of them. I could have done bottom slabs, of course, and add them so they weren't spawnable, but it just didn't quite feel right because uh, it means I'd have to put something on top of them to be able to physically build another slab, and it just it wasn't right. So I went against that one. Still need to do my station. So much to do. This is going to be all right. I'm quite happy. If you have enjoyed this video, please do remember to slap that like button and I will know that you're enjoying them and I'll keep on making them. And also, if you've not done it already, please do hit that subscribe button. It'd be great to see you in my sub club and I look forward to seeing you in another video. You take it easy now. Bye.